Alrighty guys. So it is 6.30 in the morning and I have to do my hair and get ready for this uh, re recital, but I'm gonna go to the 8 a.m. review before that. I'm so tired. Got my straightener going on. Calyx up in the morning. I just, I didn't really get that much sleep last night and my eyes hurt and it really annoys me when I don't sleep during finals week because then I'm just going to sleep when I should be studying later on or I'm gonna be tired when I'm studying, which is even worse. At school, at the roof, we're in all black. Look like I'm going to a funeral. But I'm going to a Christmas party. Not that many people here. I'm sitting all the way in the back so that I can ditch in about an hour. Alrighty, lecture is over, or review is over. And now I am headed to go, oh, there it is. The Gotham people. Alrighty, so we are walking. We are riding in Amy's car. Uh, Radhika, can you tell us what we're doing exactly? Uh, yeah, we're going singing today. Caroling, what? specifically. Where at? <laughs> Where are we caroling? Where are we caroling? Is it, is it re the retiring? What is this? This is a meeting for retired faculty and they're having a very, very nice meeting and they decided that they wanted some Christmas music in the background so they called the Goffany and we are answering their calls. <laughs> Fancy. Alright, we just sang like five Christmas songs at the front of this meeting thing and now we are going to enjoy gauntlets and iced tea. Running late to class after the event, I took a three hour nap. Now I'm running late to this business class, which I don't know why they made in the middle of finals week. But then after this, I'm studying nonstop. All right, we are done with the business class. We are turning in our post course evaluations, and that was that was the end of it. We learned so much. After doing the fun part of playfully color coding your notes, and then realizing now it's time to actually memorize all of this. Alrighty guys, booming it out over here, doing all my notes, eating all the food that I own. It's about 10.30 and I just suck. I suck. Um, you know, nothing new. I hopefully will continue working. I'm just gonna try to remember all of these darn minerals and vitamins and just so many of them and they do so many things. LOL, these oranges kind of look like they have Pete's Jaeger syndrome. See what I mean? Hello guys, welcome to another fascinating morning of my life, setting for this uh, GI final. I am going over all of the objectives, I kind of started from day one this morning. I have some oranges, some notes, uh, some random pens, I have my whiteboard as usual, markers, um, and pens and a notebook. I use this to repeat my notes again and again, and then on my computer, I'll show you. I was going through my notes and I wrote down all the things that I don't know. And I feel like that's super helpful because, you know, I, there's a lot of these notes that are super obvious, like the stomach is underneath the esophagus and it makes acid, you know, obvious stuff. But then there's things that I don't know and I feel like, wait, why don't I just make a list of everything I don't know and keep going over it until I know it. And so I started doing that and hopefully it will help. By the way, word to the wise, if you ever decide to get a pet, just know that they're gonna be extremely bored during finals week. <laughs> When you want to get off your computer and just look at your phone, but Calyx is... <laughs> Trying to hide it. That's actually a good cat. <laughs> Alright guys, it's about 3.30 and I'm now getting out of bed. It's a slack and sweatshirt kind of day. Specific sweatshirt that I'm wearing. Calyx! It's Pusheen! Pusheen's gonna get me through this study day. Aren't you Pusheen? This is my Pusheen. So the thing about studying in my apartment is that it's so dark and there's no noise and Calyx keeps meowing because he wants to get out of the house and I want to get out of the house. And usually I try to like give myself energy by eating a lot. But instead I thought, why not try outdoor studying? Calyx is just enjoying the grass. And then I have my whiteboard, I have my laptops on 33%, so by the time that it runs out, it should probably be getting dark, it's about four o'clock. My phone, I don't know why I brought this, I should place this all the way at the end, next to this possible bird poop. 
and some water. I get some fresh air and I hear some noise. I actually do enjoy a little bit of noise when I'm studying. All right, guys, it's getting closer to the sunset time over here and I've gotten way too comfortable. That is a loaf of bread, some pickles, lots of water. Going with my notes, I'm on 7% on my laptop, so I should probably start packing up. Alrighty, it is now Friday. Calyx uh, just got tucked into bed. And now I am going to go to Denny's to finish setting all the rest of my stuff. Alright guys, here is the scene at Denny's. Uh, you have to sit at the bar because it's the only place with an outlet. Got my laptop. I'm on my, I just finished week two. And week three shouldn't take that long. It should be about an hour since it was just the Thanksgiving week. And this is what my notebooks look like. I write down all the notes that kind of are like algorithmic. And then... <laughs> and then I have my list of things that I don't know over here. <clears throat> and the list is starting to get pretty long. So I really wish I knew more. Let's see, when does it end? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I just received an email that my USMLE application was approved and I will be taking my step one exam somewhere between March 1st and May 31st, but probably be around May 1st. But to no pressure to learn this very, very well. Okay, I've done weeks one, two, and four. And it is about 5.30. So I'm gonna do three, five, and six, and hopefully finish before the test. And I've been here for five hours now. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back home. I got to my station. I'm going in for the home stretch. I think it's about seven o'clock now and I have three weeks to go. Just took a shower. So I have nothing else to do but just keep going and I'm gonna eat tons of oranges to keep me alive, alive full of sugar, <laughs> tons of water, and probably make some soup as well. But yeah guys, this is, this is like 12 hours left to count down. Did I say I was eating oranges or what? All right, it's now 12.46 and I'm still going. I've eaten way too much. I'm doing a whole packet of carrots. I've had ramen. I've had cereal. I'm just a big stress eater. Still on week five, about halfway through. <laughs> you know how when you study and um, it feels like you've been studying forever and it's only been like 30 minutes? That feeling like becomes opposite when it's crunch time. You feel like I just did one PowerPoint and that took me an hour and you're like, oh my gosh. We are now looking at two o'clock, people. Now we're approaching 4.30. I get asked a lot. I'm very tired, how are you so good at pulling all-nighters? I don't know, okay? I have a lot of sleep problems, so this happens kind of a lot. Also, I honestly think it's the fear that keeps me going. Like the fear that I literally still haven't looked at a whole week at one sixth of what's on the test that makes me awake. Like I'm not really that tired at all. And it's four, it's 4.30 in the morning. I could probably go until about noon when the test is over and then I pass out and die. Also, I eat a lot of food, so that kind of keeps me awake and going. When all you wanted to do was microwave food, but instead you dropped your glass plates in your kitchen and you don't own a broom and you don't really know what to do with this right now, just pray that Calyx doesn't come over here and investigate. Is this foreshadowing my success on this test? Oh, I get it. It means I'm gonna do earth shatteringly well. <laughs> Alrighty, so I will be leaving to school at 6.30, so that means I get a 30 minute nap. So I am done. I'm gonna review for about an hour as soon as I get to school, but yay, 30 minute nap, go Calyx. Woo, 30 minute nap. You hear me people, 30 minute nap. Ah. Turning the fan on and enjoying this moment. <laughs> okay guys, nap time over, I actually overdid it. As soon as I got in bed, I realized how tired I was and I ended up sleeping 30 minutes more than I should have. So now I'm on my way to school. All right guys, it is 7.21. I am parked in front of my school next to my cool sighting. And I'm just gonna pull up my PowerPoint on my computer. Look at the, the list of things I don't know. Look at this, which I wrote some like algorithms. And then look at the histology slides one last time before I go take my exam at eight o'clock. Okay guys, 7.48 and I'm packing my things so I can head to the school over there. Alrighty guys, wish me luck. Sweet, sweet freedom. Officially winter break. I actually finished that exam really early. Well, like with 30 minutes to spare, so. And I went through my exam twice. 
So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Ugh. Food coma. Okay guys, so this is my hair and makeup and my outfit. And I'm going to a house party, which is so exciting because I never get to go out anymore. So now that school's finally over, yay, I get to go. <sighs> okay, well, that I finally am back at my place. Um, and uh, wow, that party was crazy and my makeup is, well, that's actually not bad. My lashes are still on, so that's cool. Party yesterday was so awesome. I don't ever get to go out dancing and hanging around friends, so that was so refreshing because I honestly haven't done that in forever. Today is my friend's graduation and then her graduation party tonight. I'm all going to get ready to do that, but first I have to go get my nails done, which I'm so excited because the last time I got my nails done was probably like six months ago. You're touching patients, you have to keep them short, and you have to keep them professional, so you either have to paint them every day or you just don't wear nail polish at all. A lot of girls in my class don't wear nail polish and we definitely can't have acrylic nails. Now that school's over, anything's possible. Okay guys, so I just got my United States Medical License Examination Scheduling Permit, which means I'm now able to pick a day and I have to read the document and my eligible time to take it is from March 1st to March 31st of next year. These are all of the instructions. Here you can see that I have to go to this website to actually schedule it. And then they do let you take an extension date. So let's say my test is May 1st, but it's like April 30th and I realize I'm not ready for my test. I can extend it and it's, you can only do it one time. You have to pay a lot of money for it. So now I'm gonna go and schedule it, see what happens. Okay, so I'm taking step one, okay. Hopefully in Texas, though, I know that there's some people who wait so long they end up taking it in a different state because that's all that's open. Schedule an appointment. By the way, this is all through Prometric, which I'm pretty sure is the same company that we had to take our MCAT through. And now uh, it's reminding us that the appointment is eight hours long. And uh, now we have to pick a date within our three month period. So the way our school works is we get out of school February, mid-February and then we don't have anything to do until June when we start third year. So we get almost three months to study for the test and take it whenever we want. This is kind of just our free time to do whatever we want to do. So if we end mid-February, I definitely want at least eight weeks. So that would make me around uh, mid-April. But then I kind of want to give myself a few buffer weeks. So I'm gonna probably take my exam the end of April or the beginning of May. See guys, this is why you have to do things early because look at all the available dates that are open and I get to take the test in my city. If you wait too long, you're gonna have no dates to sign up for or you're gonna have to take the test in a different city and sometimes in a different state. So that's why you have to sign up for the, these kind of things really fast. And so this is May. I think I'm gonna go for May 1st. That will give me about, about 10 weeks to take the step exam. And I know what you're thinking, America, why don't you just take it at the end of May so you have more time to prepare? Okay guys, so this is why. This is why people don't take like a year to take step. It's because it's the worst thing ever. It's literally like studying for the worst, hardest final exam you've ever studied for, except you study for that exam every single day for over two months. It's so draining. Just imagine studying for any of your finals. That's draining. But imagine studying for a final for two months. It's so, so draining to do that. It's so draining to study and feel stupid. Also, you don't want to sign up for a date that's like a million weeks from now because you might put it off. And most people study for the date, especially if you're in medical school and you're very timely and organized. You're very good at planning for a date. Like it doesn't really matter if the date is April 15th or April 30th, you'll be ready by then because you, you study for the date. Does that make sense? You have to find a middle ground between having enough time to prepare, but also realizing that you're going to be so drained. At some point, it's going to be worse on you to be so tired and so sick of studying. I'm gonna go ahead and take it the beginning of May, and I think I'm gonna go for May 1st. I don't know why, but I've been thinking that would be a good day. That'll give me about 10 weeks to study for the exam, which I think is more than enough. Most people do eight weeks, but I just know that I'm gonna have a few down days. I'm gonna go ahead and go for May 1st. Hopefully that won't be too long, and hopefully that won't be too little. Uh, hopefully it's just right. About eight to 10 weeks is m where most people take their exam. On May 1st, they have a nine o'clock appointment. So yay. Okay guys, that's all she wrote. My appointment is complete. May 1st, come at me. I'm ready 
to go to the graduation, so I'm driving there right now. So proud of her, she has a degree in economics, my Kayla. <laughs> Kayla has graduated. <laughs> we have a sleepy baby, pass out. Hello there, this is Selena. Uh, Kayla, how do you feel now that you graduated and you don't have to deal with college anymore? I'm just gonna sleep in every single day. <laughs> you never have to come back here ever again? Well, 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 I mean, I gotta take well, a good well, 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 Oh. oh. He's hypnotized. <laughs> we are at the grist mill to eat. Whoa, look how fancy this is. Yeah, they have Santa hats. Yeah, it is kind of weird. And we got a view. And then we got Brittany. Hey. hey. Those are some giant onion rings. <laughs> we have finished eating. It was so delicious. And now we're going to go to the party bus. So we just got done with the Street, which is the best place on earth, by the way. The cops come and patrol the whole area on horses and it's very cute. Alright guys, so I look a little crazy right now. It is now Saturday evening and I'm about to go treat myself and do something I haven't done in forever but that I love doing. It is a very, very gloomy day outside. Yay! <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah, so hot. Alrighty guys, so my nails were done. And I feel so nice and pretty and ready for the holidays now. Um, not too pretty right now, but that's okay because I'm staying in and just uh, trying to stay warm from all this horrible weather. Hanging out with Calyx over there. And maybe watching some holiday movies and editing this video. And then falling asleep because I'm so tired. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.